Fivers. Thousands of them. Must have been a bank robbery. Wait. <coughs> by me finding 200,000 pounds worth of fibers in a taxi. You counted them? Well, no, there wasn't time, really. No, a chap came in here with a gun, claimed the money and took it away. It was a tall story he had to tell. And no wonder no one would believe him. Pretty Nurse Brooks thought he was suffering from hallucinations, and his heart beat faster every time she took his pulse. Twig, his butler, is also a little dubious. Not everyone opens the door to such strange visitors. Meanwhile, an inspector by the name of Archer keeps a suspicious eye on the whole affair. It's my opinion you're trying to obstruct us for some reason best known to yourself. If so, you're for it. But above all, our hero is harassed by Harry the Crook and Logan the Boss, counterfeiters who know a fiver when they print it. What about those plates? Exactly what I was about to ask you. You and your pretty little nurse have framed me nicely. First you're a doctor, then you're a detective. What the blazes are you, Mr. Logan? Someone who dislikes being double-crossed. If I don't get those plates, you're not going to see that girl again. Ever. Adam! 